going to be giving you an overview of the Mach Motion Apollo 3 motion controller. All of the inputs and outputs on the Apollo 3 use 24 volt DC. This provides noise immunity and stability. All right, the green screw terminal on the lower end of the Apollo 3 board is the input terminal block. We have 16 inputs here, X0 through X15. Up here, the C0 pluses are all the 24 volt bus, and the C0 minuses are the ground bus. We have ground, more grounds here and five volt sources if you need them. And below here, we have LEDs, which give you the state of all of the inputs, so you know if they're on or off. The Apollo 3 board can handle any type of, of switch, NPN, PNP, or mechanical. This is the output screw terminal. We have eight outputs, Y0 through Y7, number of grounds here. Over here we have the 24EN, which is the 24 enable signal coming from the Apollo 3. And we have 24 volts and five volts. And then on this end over here, we have our spindle control. We have zero to 10 analog signal, two dry relays, counterclockwise and clockwise, also ground. There are two LEDs down here, which are labeled reverse and forward. So whichever direction the spindle is going, you can tell. And also down along here, we have status LEDs for all of the outputs. The Apollo 3 is completely closed loop. So it brings back the encoder feedback from all of the motors to the control. The connections for that are all across here. It can control up to six axes simultaneously. So it's got X, Y, Z, and A, B, C. Over here we've got in another location where you can connect to the spindle control instead of hardwiring it. And we've got spindle encoder feedback. There are also two connections for external MPGs. The Apollo 3 communicates with the control via an ethernet connection. This allows a lot of flexibility as far as where the Apollo 3 and the control can be mounted. Um, because of the ethernet connection, it increases the resolution that the drives and motors can run at, which increases uh, precision and accuracy. The Apollo 3 is powered by 24 volts. The tw uh, plugs in right here, 24 volts on ground. And this is the emergency stop plug. Whenever the, the circuit is open, we get an e-stop signal. Because the Apollo 3 is completely closed loop, it means that when an e-stop condition occurs, you don't lose position. The Apollo 1 has a number of status LEDs to help you know the status of the system. This LED here, labeled power, shows that we have 24 volt, 24 volt power coming to the board. The enable signal here shows that we have enable, and the drive enable here designates that the drives are actually enabled. E-stop here, when that is on, means that the E-stop circuit is complete, so there's no E-stop condition. And then over here on the HiCon board, this is the communication board that actually talks to the control. We have power, again, a control LED showing that it's in control. And then if there's an error, this will be lit up. Most of the time it won't be. And this is the CPU control. You'll see that blinking whenever the system has power. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you know a bit more about the Mach Motion Apollo 3 motion controller now. If you'd like any more information about Mach Motion or our other products, visit us at mockmotion.com.